What's going on YouTube? Dave here from SignalWarn.com. So today we're going to talk about integration of Visual Studio Code, which for whatever reason I have been more willing to use lately as opposed to the PowerShell ISE. Anyway, integration of Visual Studio Code with Visual Studio Team Services, which is I couldn't find a good video on how to do this, so it took me a while to figure out how to make this thing all work together, so I figured I would let you know. So first thing you'll need, you'll need a Visual Studio Team Services account. So go to visualstudio.com, create an account, yada, yada, yada. You'll get a custom URL like this. You'll also need Git. You can get that on GitHub. Just download the version to your machine. In my case, I am using Git 2.12. And actually, we need to open up the Git bash here. So we'll come back to that in a minute. I have Visual Studio Code version 1.13 and then only two extensions installed, PowerShell and the Visual Studio Team Services extension. So what you have to do essentially is connect Visual Studio Code to a local Git repository, which is why you have to download Git to your laptop or desktop, however. Then you clone your Team Services repository down to your local, then you can uh, push pull all that stuff all right so anyhow all right so now you have a, a visual studio account I have a couple test projects going on here PowerShell scripts is where all my code is so I'm gonna go copy or clone this repository so I'm gonna click on the project go to the code hit clone copy this link uh, I'm going to do a create a personal access token. I've already done this, so I'm just going to kind of walk you through how you would do it if you needed to do it for the first time. So you're going to go to your profile, security, personal access token, add, describe it however you want to. You can change the expires in. I kept all scopes. I'm not sure how all the other options here work. Play with that uh, however you want to play with it. Hit create token, it'll spit out an alphanumeric string of text, and that's what you'll use to authenticate. All right, so we need to open up Git. Obviously, I've already downloaded this and installed it on this laptop. So the thing to understand here is this is the file path where it's going to create your clone repository. So I'm going to type git clone. I'm going to copy that link or paste that link. Okay, so now it has cloned that repository. Let's go look at the actual code on here, or the actual file structure. See user signal warrant, and there is PowerShell's PowerShell scripts repo, and there you can see all the code stuff that uh, comes in with it. So what we're going to do now, open up Visual Studio Code. We're going to open that repo. So you can hit the little folder icon here open folder. We're going to navigate to C users signal warrant PowerShell scripts. Select that folder. Okay, now it has opened the local repo. Now we need to authenticate so we can push pull to the Visual Studio Team services. So we want to hit F1. We're going to type team sign in and this is where we have to copy our personal access token. Actually, let me go off outside of the uh, screen here. So all I did was copy my access token that I copied from Visual Studio Team Services. I had it in a notepad file here. So let's do that one more time. F1, team sign in, paste my access token, hit enter. And now you'll see down here that I am connected to my PowerShell scripts repo. So uh, let's just go in here to one. Let's update this. I'm going to save it locally. Now you can see I have one change here. 
in the source control. I will stage it for check-in. You can type in whatever comment you want. Source control best practices. I just typed a, a, a period just to let it go. So now I want to go down here to synchronize changes. Hit OK. And now it is pushing those changes to this new dash Azure VM dot PS1 file to the Visual Studio website. And I'm not sure how long it takes. Let's look how long it takes to actually create it or change the code. And there you can see the T's already gone right here. So it worked. So that's it for today. Uh, I wanted to get this out just because put together a whole bunch of PowerShell scripts. Sometimes you want to collaborate with folks. So this is an easy way to do it. You can also use uh, the GitHub either way you want to do it. I happen to have a team services account already. So this was just my comfort zone. I don't know anything about Git. I'm not pretending to be a, uh, a Git guru. So take it for what it's worth. Good way to back up your scripts. And like I said, collaborate. So if you have any questions, hit me down in the comments. If you feel I deserve it, give me a, a like, a thumbs up, a subscribe, share it with your friends, and I appreciate it. I'll see you the next time.